from day one, this woman has been with the Portland Thorns. Rachel Van Hollebeck, thanks for taking the time. Announcing your retirement, the letter to the fans on the Thorns website was absolutely brilliant. Walk us through the emotion of writing that and maybe even first of all, what led you to announce the retirement and to even say, I'm finished. Um, well, gosh, <laughs> um, I think, you know, I think my letter was just kind of a heartfelt expression and kind of a summarized version of what I've been, you know, of my life and what I've been going through um, the last couple of years and, and thinking about my career and the decisions ahead. Um, you know, I've always wanted to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. Like I talked about in the letter, you know, my dad was a doctor and I've always just had this passion for science and medicine and, and, um, in college, after college, I ended up, um, you know, kind of going down that route and even applied to medical school in 2011. So it's always been something that I've wanted to do. There's a World Cup in there. There's another Olympic gold in there. There's a professional league with the WPS and then obviously with the NWSL. How did you know in your heart of heart at this young age that it was time to put soccer down and to pick up that medical career that you had put on hold since 2011? Um, you know, I think it's been a variety of factors and it's been a lot of thinking and considering. Mm -hmm. Yes, I love soccer and I will always love soccer. And, you know, do I want to go to the next Olympics? Of course I do. But at the same time, I kind of felt like a shift um, just inside of me. Uh, I guess like, I don't know, I just kind of, I, I kind of knew that it was just time for a change and time mm -hmm. to kind of pursue um, medicine, which I'd always been wanting to do. I think, you know, my excitement for medicine and my desire to go down that path just kind of started to grow more and more and I just felt ready. Do you have a favorite memory in terms of your Thorns tenure? Is it the, the championship that the club won in 2013? Maybe something with the Riveters, maybe just that first time where you came out onto the pitch and you mentioned this in your letter of just, oh my gosh, there's 13, 14,000 people here and they never let up. I think all of those things that you just mentioned are very distinct memories in my mind. I remember the first game and I was just blown away by our fans. You know, I, I, I knew that Portland was a good soccer city. I'd played here with the national team and, you know, felt the presence, but this was different. I mean, they were mm -hmm. behind us all the way. They were so organized with the chance and just everything was like, uh, it was there. they were our fans and they were 100% committed. And so that moment really sticks out in my mind. I think also some of the different TIFOs that they've made <laughs> and things like that. Um, just so creative and so passionate. And um, yeah, I've, I've loved playing in front of them. 20,000 people will say thank you to you on Sunday. I'm going to assume that that is going to be an incredibly, just a special moment with you saying thank you back. Yes, I'm, I cannot be thankful enough to the fans and to everybody that's helped me through my career, uh, my teammates, my coaches, uh, you know, the administration, the Thorns organization, medical staff. I mean, yeah. in my letter, I think I, I did my very best to, to reach everybody, but I mean, there has just been countless people that have supported me and helped me, um, my family obviously, and my husband. Um, and I just, I wouldn't be able to do this without them. And I'm just so grateful. Congrats on a great career and thanks for making Portland a part of it. Thank you.